Welcome to the Lester Finley Barrier Free Nature Trail. This trail will take you along the edge of a shady hardwood hammock as it meanders along South Creek, a blackwater tidal estuary. A great way to gain access further into the park or a leisurely round trip hike of more than half a mile, the Lester Finley Trail is a trail favorite by many. Allow about 20 minutes for a round trip. The trail was specifically designed for visitors of all abilities with several audio boxes to interpret the way. The trail surface is smooth, hard, and mostly level for ease of hiking and access for wheelchair use. Along the trail, you will find a fishing and observation pier, butterfly gardens, bridges, benches, a water fountain, beautiful native plants, if you're quiet, even wildlife. To hear more about who built this section of the trail, press the next button below. The original Barrier Free Trail was open to the public in 1996. In 2016, restoration of the plant community within the section of the park that runs between the park drive and South Creek began. That led to the opportunity to add this additional 500 feet of trail connecting the Lester Finley Trail to the ranger station in 2017. The trail addition allows visitors to gain access into the park without having to walk down the road providing safer access into the park. The addition was constructed by volunteers, park staff, and the Florida Conservation Corps team. The Florida Conservation Corps is an office within the Florida Department of Environmental Protection's Florida Park Service that operates an AmeriCorps National Service program. This program is divided into three project areas that each address either a major issue facing Florida State Parks or a component of the FLCC mission. The three project areas are Project Ant, AmeriCorps Non-Native Plant Terminators, Project Roar, Regional Outreach and Awareness Recruiters, and Project Tract, Trail Restoration and Enhancement Corps. The mission of the Florida Conservation Corps is to develop natural and cultural resource leaders by connecting them to areas of critical need in conservation, preservation, interpretation, and resource-based recreation. If you would like to make a difference in the park, stop by the ranger station and learn more about volunteer opportunities we have to offer. Enjoy the trail. Trail. The live oak lives to be one of the oldest and most sturdy of Florida's trees. Although it may grow slower than other The live oak lives to be one of the oldest and most sturdy of Florida's trees. Although it may grow slower than other trees, it is better able to withstand hurricane winds, fires, droughts, and floods than other hardwoods. In the days of sailing ships, the large arching limbs were highly sought after for making ship ribs and knees. Today, these trees furnish shades and beauty 
for millions of park visitors throughout Florida. The resurrection fern is probably the most abundant epiphyte fern in Florida. An epiphyte is a plant that grows on other plant but is not parasitic. The resurrection fern is probably the most abundant epiphyte fern in Florida. An epiphyte is a plant that grows on another plant but is not a parasitic. The fern is found throughout the state, usually on the branches of old live oaks growing in shaded hammocks. During periods of drought, the fern shrivels to a dormant, dense brown mass and appears lifeless. After rainfall, the dried ferns resurrect into lush, beautiful green fern. This trail is considered a hammock. The origin of the word hammock is definitely no, not known. This trail is considered a hammock. The origin of the word hammock is definitely known. Wait. The or this trail is considered a hammock. The origin of the word hammock is not definitely known. According to some historians, the word may have been traced to an American Indian word, hammocka, which means a shady place. Several thousand years ago, the sea in this area covered extensive living coral reefs. As the sea level fell, reefs were exposed and the coral died. The exposed limestone formed islands, which are now the Florida Keys. Seeds arriving on wind or carried by bird colonized the new islands and eventually created communities such as this tropical hardwood hammock.